हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज़ मनीष मथुरिया एंड आई एम फ्रॉम बियानी गर्ल्स कॉलेज आईटी डिपार्टमेंट टुडे आई एम हेयर टू प्रेजेंट यू द न्यू टॉपिक एंड वेरी डिमांडेबल टॉपिक इन जावा इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ एडवांस जावा प्रोग्रामिंग इट इज़ जे एस पी जावा सर्वर प्रोग्रामिंग जावा सर्वर पेजेस एग्जैक्टली द फॉर्म इज जावा सर्वर पेजेस बट इट इज़ यूज फॉर सर्वर प्रोग्रामिंग इन जावा एक्चुअली प्रीवियसली वी हैव Java Servlet. It's also part of Advanced Java, but it is also used for server programming at uh, server side. So basically, the new alternative we have the JSP. It is just the advance of J Servlet programming because in Servlet we have to write our HTML designing part code in the with the Java code, but in here we have to write our Java code in the HTML tags. Okay, and we have three. Uh, we have five types of element available with JSP so that we can write our Java code in the HTML codes. Okay, so see here we, we I have an example, very simple example uh, of HTML code here written here. The HTML tag is used here: head tag, title tag, body tag, and what is here h1 heading tag okay my heading is hello world okay this is all part is done in the simply design by the html but here i want to use some java code in the html code so i have an option which i can so that i can add my java code in the html code okay so this is what this is known as script lat it is uh, basically advanced feature of java so that we can write our as java code in the html code okay so i have used this script let tag and i have written here the java code out dot print allen and the string pass hello friends and then semicolon for ending the line so basically i have just closed the body and the html tag so this page will print this page will print two strings one is first is hello world and second is hello friends okay so how it is possible it is possible due to jsp okay the two things the two things we have to do for it first is we have to save this file with dot jsp okay for example i have i want to save this file as my name manish dot jsp okay the na the name of this file is manish dot jsp fine but here the thing is i am not saving this file with dot html okay why i am not saving this with html because at the server side when we uh, when we request from client for this particular page the server will server will server will judge this page and it will it will find that this page is jsp then it is a java page so server will all, all automatically automatically extract the java code from this html file and then execute it and finally present the output on the jsp designing part it's very very best feature of jsp programming so we can write our java code directly print our java code on the html page okay so i have written this definition simple definition it is a java technology for developing the dynamic web page so uh, we know the difference between the static web page and dynamic web page the static web page is developed in html only where we cannot use our database functionality in other high programming functionalities in this static page but in dynamic page we can connect it our code with the database also and we can make some uh, valuable java codes with our html code okay so here i want to just tell you very simple it's very simple to write jsp program you just need to install apache tomcat web server in your computer but earlier it should have java programming so you have to install your java you can install java 7 java 8 and then you have to install apache tomcat web server so after installing all these two softwares we can uh, directly create a web page and save it as a .jsp and you have to 
you have to include this script lat tag and you can just you can save it your you, you can save it your page in the uh, uh, tomcat server directory web apps right? you, are, you can create your directory by your name and just save your page there and that just call the page uh, after starting your web server okay just when you start your web server you will find your application at the manager and you will you can directly call your application through and you can type your page name so the output of the page you can see on your browser okay so here i have mentioned here the elements of jsp basically there are three elements first is script script led tags second is declaration tag second is third is exception expression tag okay and they, these two two elements are also available and they are used for different purposes so i just want to tell you the very, very simplest thing what uh, the java has and they have clearly they have clearly differentiate the declaration of the variable they have assigned they have given the tag we can use this smaller than sign then percentage and this exclamation exclamation mark and we can just give the uh, our data type and variables names then semicolon then close it by using percentage and greater than sign okay this is comparison operator basically so we can use it here as a script lat but for declaration purpose we need to use this smaller than sign percentage and exclamation mark okay exclamation mark is here which tells the server that is uh, we are declaring some variables okay so declaration tag is used to declare the variables and functions also so it is very important feature we can uh, we can just part part make some partition in our jsp page we can declare variables in the another part we can give the uh, function bodies in the another part okay so giving the function body and calling the function we have to use this script lat tag okay we have a script lat tag then we can use here this is a simple what i have used in this program this is the script lat the smaller than sign and the percentage only okay you can see here so i can write here our java code whatever the java code is used it is what why it is using here i am using here to just make different from the html tags okay it is for server only so server can extract this code from the html file this this html this jsp file uh, with with the html also okay so now we have the three very th third important ex expression tag is expression tag here what if i want to print something on java especially in jsp in java what i have to do i have to write system dot out dot print ln okay but in jsp i if i want to print something on the page i have to write out dot print ln okay but the third option also available with us which can directly print anything you want to print on the web page okay we have the expression tag expression tag i can use here this is smaller than sign percentage and the equal to sign okay this equal to sign will tell the server that is this type of tag is expression tag so i can use it here and whatever i will pass this expression tag it will print on the screen for example i have written here for example i can also write here suppose i have to print <coughs> hello buddy so hello hello world hello friends and hello buddy okay this will print three strings in the html output output hello world hello friends and hello buddy okay but it is in h1 heading okay but these both are in not in any heading it, they are the simple text so this is how you, we can directly print anything whatever what we want on the uh, web our html page in the on the browser so these are these three are very simple and uh, the another two the jsp comment and jsp directive 
okay. So, GSP comment if you want to give comment in HTML language, we can directly give the comment by using this tag, okay. I have to use small than sign percentage and then two hyphens, okay. These are the hyphens, sometimes known as minus sign. So, I can use this hyphens and then I can give my comment closing this by using hyphens, two hyphens and percentage then greater than sign, okay. So, if anywhere in, in our GSP page, if I want to give comment, so I can use this tag, okay. The last one is the GSP directives, okay. What is directive? Directive is used to direct the server that this page is using something else other than the this JSP code, okay. So, if I want to use some page, some, uh, imp, imp, some package, so I can use the page directory. If I want to include some file in our page, so I can use the include directive, okay. This is include directive and if I want to use, use some tags, extra tags return, return, so I can use this tag lib, tag lib directive, okay. So, we have three types of directives, one is page directive, second is include directive or third is tag lib directive, okay. So, these tags are used to make JSP program and it is very easy, we can directly read, write our code on HTML code, HTML page, it is not very hard, anyone can do it, just you need to install Java in computer, then we have to install Apache Tomcat server we go to the Apache Tomcat web apps directory, then we have to create our own directory, then we can directly create our page using notepad, write this code on the notepad and we can just directly uh, go to our web browser, just start your Tomcat, Apache Tomcat, then go to localhost colon 8080 and your directory name and then the page name, what you have. Uh, what you have developed actually just for example, I have developed monish.jsp. So, I can directly, uh, I can directly view my JSP code on the web browser how it produces the output. So, uh, I think you will get easily understand what actually JSP code uh, works and how it is simple uh, as HTML, okay. So, thanks for watching uh, me and just please subscribe uh, this uh, channel and like my video. Thank you very much.